Hello and welcome to DOS. Yeah, I'm trying to make some old classic favorites of mine work on the GPD Win 2. That generally involves problem with the gamepad though. While most of the games I like in the 90s do have some joystick support, they don't really know what to do with the modern gamepad. So in order to solve that little conundrum, I use a program called Joytokey. It allows me to interpret gamepad uh, input as mouse or keyboard. You even have the ability to create different uh, configurations while you hold down certain keys. So if I use down on the D-pad, it actually makes me able to use this kind of setup instead. Or if I hold uh, the left shoulder button, I can use this setup. And um, yeah, it works pretty well. The I'm not f hugely sold on the sticks of the GPD Win 2, but yeah, let's just get into it. And the game I will be playing today is Mech Warrior 2. Before you ask, I do own a physical copy of Mech Warrior 2 and Mercenaries, uh, and even actually I own several versions of it. Both the DOS version, which is what I'm playing right now, as well as the Windows 95 version of um, uh, Mech Warrior 2. Mech Warrior 2 Mercenaries had both of them on the same disc. There's also the um, Titanium editions that I do not own, uh, as well as various versions for different graphic cards. Also, these clan mech warriors are using contractions. That's I'm not supposed to do that. The contractions for those of you who aren't English natives uh, are well. It's, I'm, I've, uh, uh, clan mech warriors are supposed to be very formal and they should say, I am, I have, it is, but uh, maybe they're free births, who knows. Anyway, here we go. We can either go into Trial of Grievance, which is basically just a uh, skirmish mode, where you set up a small star or lands of three mechs versus three mechs, and yeah. We're not going to do that today. Then there's these two. These are the story campaigns. We can either go with Jade Falcon Clan or Wolf Clan. And I'm Wolf for life. Good for you. Now then, let's create a new character. Yeah. And go. Here we can either read some lore if we want to, and I believe you get access to more of these grayed out ones uh, when you gain ranks in the campaign. But I don't think you can get all of them. But, uh, yeah. Then we have Cadet Training. I suggest, if this is the first time you've ever played this game, I suggest playing through these, because you're gonna need some help uh, figuring out what to do. Uh, I have gone through these. Actually, not on the GPD Win 2. Kinda don't want to, to be honest. And then there's this, the Campaign Room. Let's start with the briefing. Yeah, a lot of text. Uh, we're supposed to destroy a chemical plant, inspect the wreckage of a firebase, and destroy any mechs in the area, as well as any targets of opportunity. And then leave. Uh, we can also read 
up on what's happening. If you want to read this, and it's actually very well written, but I suggest you pause the video now and start reading. There you go. Now, then... Hmm. Yeah, let's see what we have to work with mech-wise. We can use 60 tons. And the Mad Dog is... 60 tons. So everything's good there. And uh, this version, or this primary configuration, has two large pulse lasers, two medium lasers, and long-range missiles. There's also this, which is very heavy on the short-range missiles. Uh, this is also kind of uh, well-rounded. And <laughs> heavy hitter, to be sure, but that's like 16 shots. And I think they share ammo, so it's not 32 shots, I think. Mm. Uh, I mean, if you're a dead aim, then yeah, go for it, but no. Uh, Vulture. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think this was created by me. And um, it's uh, an Inner Sphere version, I think. It's interesting, especially with the Autocannon 20s there, but... Mm, very low on uh, ammo and the heat sinks. Then again, oh, ultra cannons. See, yeah, I think we're gonna go with this. Less weapons than primary, but a hell of a lot more heat sinks because I'm gonna need those. Right, and that's it. Let's launch this screen lags and i don't know why it's the fade in and the fade out that just tanks the frame rate uh not uh, up on the left there but just in general sense and you're good now then, this is us, and if I use down and d-pad I can uh, hover around with the camera, and oh, there we go, let's go back here. Now then, the left stick, that's this, and this. And this, and this. And if I press L3, I can even go back. The right stick looks around, wiggles the torso, up, and looks down. And let's go back in the cockpit. Down on the D-pad also lets me look uh, around with this. And R3 centers the torso and camera. Now, I want to change buttons up like that, so I can switch between them with the right shoulder button. And also, this music is very nostalgic for me. I think we're going that way, yes. Let's walk around the big cliff. And fire. Oh, group fire. Another thing we can do is this, and I'm probably going to use this while fighting a lot, so be aware of that. But for now, this looks pretty good. I actually have the soundtrack for this and uh, mercenaries on my phone. Oh, I got a...
Oh, I'm quite... No, I'm pretty good. Now, some of the controls I haven't bothered mapping to the uh, gamepad. Because, honestly, the keyboard is right there, so why bother? So, things like switching this. It's just F5 and F6. Now, let's see. Am I supposed to kill this? Good. Pretty sure. Yeah, that's a chemical plant. It's like that there is no indicator of whether you have chain fire or group fire engaged, but uh, it was the 90s. What can you expect? Wait, what? Who's firing at me? And from where? I have someone behind me? I need... Let's see, Epsilon Zeta, I believe we were going for. It bothers me that he got behind me without me even realizing it. I don't think it's because of the smaller screen on the DPD Win 2. I don't think it is, but never quite know. Well, at least he died quickly. Oh, hello. To, oh, you're going to. That's. Oh, I was sure he was going to go for a death, uh, death from above there. I would have. I think he has... Yeah. That's what happens when you use up... Uh, when you... When the heat sinks can't... Uh, yeah. So where are you going, Ethan? Here... This where and there we go. Let's see. I'm not going to epsilon say that I'm going to eight. Loading wreckage. Great. Yeah, let's just leave. We're supposed to kill some um, targets of opportunity, but I don't actually remember where they are on this map. Ooh, I'm just going to leave.
reached. Mission successful. Yeah, we didn't destroy any targets of opportunity. That's too bad. This hit percentage, though, is a lot higher than I thought I'd get. Generally, I'm around 40 when I use a controller, but mm, yeah. 72, that's nice. And there's some lore we can read as well. Pause if you want to read that. That's it. And what's no. next? 60 tons again, so let's use the same. There. Uh, I really like this one though. One of my favorites. Actually, my this is my favorite of all time. Which is kind of sad because um, this... Uh, how should I phrase this? When FASA made Battletech, um, I don't think it was called Battletech back then, but anyway, they um, basically stole designs from Macross and a few other animes. Uh, and well, they bought the license from the American publisher of Macross. But the American publisher did not have the right to sell those rights or something like that. So anyway, the uh, the Marauder, Warhammer. the Warhammer, Timberwolf. and Rifleman, and a few other mechs. Or I think perhaps even the Gargoyle? Hmm. Don't know. They are now considered the unseen mechs because they just disappeared uh, once uh, the anime creators won some legal suits, let's say. Uh, a few have returned, uh, but generally this is the reason you can't buy Mech Warrior 2 uh, online anymore, uh, as well as some other things like Activision and FASA having a fallout and yeah, it's a bunch of bullshit, to be honest. Anyway, um, this is what we're going to use, and not the primary again. We're going to use the cooler. And destroy, 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 destroy. And the situation is dire, apparently. And, um, yeah. Again. Slowest transition ever. Again with the great music. Enemy power up detected. Enemy power up. Yeah, that one dies first. Okay, it dies soon anyway.
I'm just gonna keep following these guys. Because if they get too far away, they're going to shut down and then I'm never gonna be able to find them. And the one behind me isn't really a threat, to be honest. There they are. Yeah, see? They just disappeared from the map because they shut down, but there they are. Also, the guy behind me just managed to get in a headshot against me. That's a slow turn rate, is on this neck right now. Oh, let's slow down slightly. There we go. from there though there yeah good don't want to lose sight of them Kit Fox, but you need to die. And here, I believe this is a target of opportunity. Target of opportunity destroyed. Now then, let's get back on the true objectives. Which was... Yes. Yes. Yeah. No alpha. Yeah, how are we doing on Ooh wow. Right torso oh middle Mm-hmm. Yeah, someone got in a shot. On my cockpit, and that's really bad. Let's hope no one else get uh, gets lucky. Now, the different versions of this game, um, also uh, MechWarrior 2 Mercenaries, they don't really play well on uh, newer computers. And even though it's like from 95 or 96, getting any decent frame rate on this machine is not really possible. I've tried Mercenaries and it's like single digit frames per second. Now we're getting up between 40 and 50 FPS, but... Wait, was I supposed to? Yes. But the first mission on Mercenaries, I got two or three frames per second, generally. It's not playable, to be honest. Uh, you get destroyed, right? Here we go. Beta. Uh, it's a sad state of affairs, but there's really nothing to do about it. Um, 
Yeah. Now, there is another version of Mech Warrior 2, though, this game. Uh, and that's the PlayStation 1 version. It doesn't have the awesome music, uh, but the controls are a little bit better. Um, well, I mean, I guess that's debatable, considering with Joy to Key you can make the... Oh wow, that's a lot of you. So let's... If I can take out the mech at least. Oh wow, that, that's... I'm gonna go this way. I hit probably hit the cockpit and that's why he's still standing If you get tired of this, you can just go that way. Which is also one of the buttons I don't have on the gamepad, because that would be quite silly. And let's get back up. Just pressing S and shutting down, and that generally takes care of any heat that you had on your machine up until then. Gamma, I think we're going to next. Proceed to dust off zone for extraction. Dust off side gamma here. Yeah. first played this game with like full graphics on my dad had just gotten himself a new Pentium 90 megahertz 
I just being able to play this on the 1024. Uh, yeah, no, just. Oh, you passed this on the way out. Oh, didn't need to follow him. Huh. Anyway, just being able to play it full graphics. That was, I don't think I ever watched anything as beautiful before. And there we have our little escape route. Yeah. Also, again, above 50, that's... Didn't get any points for that, though. Um, got for the other stuff, though. And some more reading for those who wish for it. Uh, Fallon. And yeah. Next mission is 75 tons, but they try to tell us to go with the Jenner. That's cute, but no. Let's see, do we have... No, actually, I'm gonna customize this slightly. Uh, weapons, come on, there we go. I don't really need the small laser, so let's delete that. Or the pulse laser. Machine guns are nice though, so I'm gonna keep those. I'm going to get rid of one large laser and add the heat sink instead. Also, hmm, with that I still have one half ton, and these are, ah, good, yes, um, come on, why can't I, there we go. Delete ammo. Can I do it that way? Is it possible? Don't they use machine gun, machine gun? No, they don't use the same ammo. Different ammos for different guns. So new. And uh, yeah, let's just assign criticals then. If we lose the arms, we lose the heat sinks, but that's that's fine. Uh, again with the name. I'm not a poet. Oh, we have... Didn't see you there. There we go. Now then, some more heat sinks and... Yeah. Inspect power converter, destroy power converter if it's uh, active. Okay. Situation is a lot. Pause if you want. Don't really care. And go. And again, bad frame right here. But the actual, it's just the fade in and the fade out. It bothers me. I can't really say anything more than that. Temperature, 48.43 degrees. Local time. 
No, that's not how that goes. There we go. Well, it's um, yeah, that way. Let's not walk on the street in case there are cars. These are very blocky buildings. Okay. Also, there's another version. There we go. Let's see, um, I don't really know where this, uh, ooh, ooh, let's not walk into the building, I don't really know where this, um, thing I'm going supposed to destroy is. Image enhancement engaged. I guess I'm just... I see you. Enemy power up detected. And I see the helicopter to the right as well. With the searchlight, no less. You're done. What are you doing over there, though? Enemy mech destroyed. Let's get your feet out of the way.
There we go. Now then. Somewhere around here there's a building I should identify. Wow, now we're chugging. Beta reached. Wait, that looks different. Ah, there we are. Oh, well. Bye bye then. Primary objective. Destroy power converter. Okay. Summoner, 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 summoner. Five summoners. Okay, um dust off is through the gauntlet. Well let's go this way. I said let's Go this way. Put as many buildings between them and me as possible. Now, technically speaking, summoners are like five tons uh, lighter than me, but there are five of them, so I'm gonna just ignore them. I think they're also slightly slower than me. Although, okay, no, well, never mind. They have EPCs. Oh boy. I'm just gonna. Go slightly serpentine. On the other hand, perhaps I'm not in such a big danger because they're not very good with the aiming. And that's when I probably die the moment I say that, huh? Like I said, they're slightly slower than me, which is really good. Ow. You can also use this to play slightly. Um, you can't really aim in this, but it's good for when you need to flee. And you want to know if your cover is good or not. all of them so well, that's good and the hit percentage was slightly lower that time uh, aftermath pause <laughs> if you want i'm not gonna uh, next mission
Defend then escort. Wow. Mm. Oh, what do we have to move with? Five. Hellbringer. Rifleman. Summoner. Timberwolf. Summon. Rifleman. Hellbringer. Yeah. Let's. Uh, I think this is a good place to stop for now. And uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, it runs fairly well for what it is. And when it comes to the frames per second while you're playing, I didn't have much better uh, FPS back when I played this game on my 486, 66 hertz, megahertz, probably. Um, yeah. Uh, I really am quite fond of this game. And as I said, the music is just awesome. And yeah. Mech Warrior 2, check it out. Actually, you can't buy this online anywhere. So, if you have it, if you have a copy, then you can probably check it out. But then you probably already have. So, yeah. And so, yeah. Happy April Fool's today. Good night.